Here we go. Okay. Uh straight into a boss battle. So this uh, is reminiscent of the Lupin Flower Gardens. I think I'll be best. Oh! So there's four of them. But they do seem manageable. I just need to not lose track of all of them. they spawn again. Oh fuck 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 okay that was not supposed to happen. Damn it. So they don't seem to be that hard. So this shouldn't be a problem. Not if you compare it to Ludwig anyway. Well, I'm gonna need the range. I'm gonna ignore most of the enemies. I can get to the gate immediately, so... No point in dilly-dallying. Okay. as individual ones. Oh! Some of the darts are coming through. So they're not visceral attackable.
So the general tactic here is just to try and take the ones that are isolated. Close, please. I'm gonna come back again. was bullshit so I don't even know what the fuck just happened it started raining meteors like it did with the uh, vacuous ROM but they seem to be a lot bigger so guns don't make a difference so might as well go two-handed Doesn't really cost me in speed. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, that's not a good position to be. So I have a feeling that they both, the all four, have their own attacks. Or not, never mind. Where'd the third one go? So the darts, we just dodged them sideways. Man, they have a lot of health. Seriously. Come on, dodge away. Okay. Can I hide here? Seems like it. Shorts, short, shorts, attacks.
Ah, fuck, that was dumb. They're gonna do it again? Yeah, they're gonna do it again. So the magic user is generally the easiest. Are they gonna do it again? They probably are, aren't they? thinking it was due time for another run. Okay. So that must be the magic one. Gonna 
get, you know, not gonna get another chance apparently. Good luck that you can hide from this. Imagine having to run for this every 20 seconds. So that's good. Okay, Astral Clock Tower Key. Whew! That was, uh... Well, it wasn't that hard once you got to know the... the mechanics a bit, but... It was more tedious than that's anything else. So, another lamp, which I'm grateful for. And a bit of blood echoes that I'm gonna use to buy more blood vials, I think. So that's a really nice plant, though. So this is a mirroring of the Lumen Flower Garden from the main game, indicating that this must have been previous experiments from the church, the ones before the emissary, the ones that failed. The flowers all look a bit more crooked. I'm gonna check if this one is still yammering about failure. So they actually made those things. I'm gonna head in, open this gate really quickly to see what's on the other side. But first I'm gonna head back to the Hunter's Dream to spend my blood echo, so be right back. But before we enter, I'm gonna check out the key. Key to the Astral Clock Tower atop the Grand Cathedral. The caretaker of the tower's numerous patients, known to them only as Lady Maria, made her home behind the giant star interpreting clock. Ho oh, ho. Okay. I'm probably not gonna fight her right now. But I am going to open the door. If that leads right into the boss fight, well then so be it. And it kinda looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, this does seem to be the end. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. So in the next video, we'll probably be fighting Lady Maria. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I sincerely hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!